What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Emily and I are at Typhoon Lagoon today and it has been quite some time since we have last been to Typhoon Lagoon, three years to be exact, on our college program. Now for the college program, Disney put on a like a kind of nighttime party here at Typhoon Lagoon called Starlight Splash or Starlit Splash. What was it called, Em? Starlet Splash. Starlet Splash. It was called Starlet Splash. So at night, they ran out the whole park to all the college program participants. Um, you get to come and have fun and spend an evening in Typhoon Lagoon. But we are here because Typhoon Lagoon has just recently reopened to the public about a month ago. So let's go inside, have some fun, and check out all the fun things to do here at Typhoon Lagoon. So before going into the park, I do have to buy a ticket for Typhoon Lagoon because I do not have it added on to my annual pass. So I'm going to go right here and buy my ticket. So it looks like the tickets here at Typhoon Lagoon are $69 for ages 10 and up, and then ages 3 to 9 are $63. We made it into Typhoon Lagoon, and here's kind of a little lookout area. You guys can see the giant wave pull back there, and you have the shipwreck up at the top. I can't wait. Literally, it's been so long since we've been here. Um, that wave pool is amazing. I don't know. I'm not. I'm going to say that the, uh, the one at Volcano Bay is a lot better, but I can't wait to get in there. So here is the map for Typhoon Lagoon. There's a massive lazy river on the whole water park, big giant wave pool, tons of slides to go on. Emily and I are gonna try to hit a bunch of them. It is almost two o'clock, so we only have about three hours left of the park being open. Let's head on and have some fun here at Typhoon Lagoon. So the current park hours for Typhoon Lagoon are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. They also have a merchandise shop here at Typhoon Lagoon, Singapore Sal's Souvenirs. Let's go inside and check out some of the Typhoon Lagoon merchandise. We haven't found our seats yet, but Emily is currently getting a hot dog. And I just kind of wanted to point out over here, everyone, it's kind of like this little, like little shallow water area where you can pull your chairs and relax in the water and stay cool on this hot day because it is beautiful weather today. We're in the 80s here in Florida. Couldn't be a better day for Typhoon Lagoon, but I can't wait to get out there in the wave pool and go conquer some of these slides. So now Emily finally joins us after getting her hot dog. How's the uh, hot dog, Emily? It's really good. Really good? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Like, like honest review, 10 out of 10? Yeah. Really or is it 10 good. out of 10 because you're starving? <laughs> but it is really good still. So. Alright, we have now gotten our lounges here at Typhoon Lagoon. And it's time to go hit the slides and the wave pool. Let's go do it. Alright, excuse the hat hair, but we are now going on the best slide here. So right next to the wave pool, it does look like there are some kitty slides that go into kind of this little tiny pool that comes off of the wave pool. It is called Blustery Bay. Looks like there's two different slides over here for the kids. Also for the kids here at Typhoon Lagoon, there is Catch a Kitty Creek which has like a little splash playground over here, a little boat that you can play on, you know, another splash pad, and then in the back has these little slides. A great area to come if you have the little ones and you're bringing them here to Typhoon Lagoon. It also looks like they have a little, little tiny little raft ride for the kids, which is pretty cool. So we're walking around Typhoon Lagoon, trying to get a lay of the land, and um, there is a forgotten grotto here. So let's go inside and check out what is inside. I'm not really sure if there's actually anything in here, but uh, let's check it out. I mean, Maybe that's the exit, I'm not sure. We'll check it out though. And uh, now I know why it's called the Forgotten Grotto because it's not that big and you can easily forget about it. <laughs> but that's it and we just you know, end up right next to the Lazy River over here. So I did not know this, but I guess you can rent little cabanas here um, in Typhoon Lagoon. Obviously the ones in Volcano Bay are way nicer than this. Um, but that's pretty cool, I did not know you could do this here. To start off our day here at Typhoon Lagoon, Crush and Gusher. And now it is time to head up to Crush and Gusher or Crush Gusher. I'm not sure what it's actually called, but uh, I'm excited. So there are three different slides you can go on. The Pineapple Plunger, Coconut Crusher, and the Banana Blaster. Emily, which one do you wanna go on? You pick. Pineapple Plunger. Let's do it. Emily picked Pineapple Plunger because she likes the name of it. So uh, let's see how fun it is. Worst part about these slides is carrying these tubes of all the flights of stairs. <laughs> My arms are gonna be so tired. That was fun. 
So we just finished the pineapple plunger, that was what it's called? Pineapple yeah. plunger on the Crushing Usher. So much fun. Uh, it's very similar to the aqueduct on the Disney Dream. Looks like there's a watermark on my camera. Fix it. But how, you have fun? Yeah, the water is just really cold. Yeah, water was Ooh. freezing. And the first one, when you, you drop down at the very beginning, it like shoots up your back. Freezing cold water. Yeah. But let's head over and do some more slides. I did forget how fun Crushing Usher was, but I will say it was kind of short. I always remember it being a little bit longer than that. Um, but that just could have been the pineapple plunger, but still a lot of fun. Emily, what were your thoughts again? It was fun. What do you think it was short, long? It was pretty short. Yeah, it's pretty short. I don't know. It was all right. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, but it's still, I think, the best slide here that I remember. But like I said, let's head on over and do some of those other slides and the wave pool here at Typhoon Lagoon. If you all are enjoying today's video here at Typhoon Lagoon, make sure to give this video a like as it really does help out the channel a lot. Here are the Humunga Cowabunga slides. These are racing slides, so you go up to the top and then race whoever you're sliding with and see who finishes first down here at the bottom. Very fast and very steep. So, uh, you ready to race, Emily? Let's do it. And then as we make our way up to the Humunga Cowabunga, these are also three other racing slides that we will head over and do right after this. Let's head up to the top and see who wins. Let me know in the comments, everyone, do you think I'm gonna win or do you think Emily's gonna win on the Humunga Cowabunga? Did you? All right, so Emily said she won. I'm not too sure, but that side is super fun. You go super, super fast, but it also hurts. My back is completely red, um, but now we're heading to do the storm slides, which are those other racing slides I showed you before we went on the Humanga Cowabunga. Here at Typhoon Lagoon, there is like some overlook trails uh, next to the Humunga Cowabunga that you can go and walk and check out some amazing views of the water park. There is also this giant bridge here that you can walk over, and I believe it goes under, or I believe it goes over top of the Lazy River here. This is pretty cool. I will say the little overlook path right here that we're crossing the little bridge is very cool and you guys need to come check this out when you come to Typhoon Lagoon. Emily, what do you think of the little trail right here? Oh, it's cute. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's oh, cool. You can get pretty. some like really cool photos here with the, uh, the shipwreck in the background. We might have to come back here and uh, take some photos in a little bit. So this is called Mount Mayday Trail to go to the mountain overlook. Right now we're just sitting next to this little overlook of the wave pool and that wave that I just showed you guys was massive. I don't know, I might pick this wave pool over the one of Volcano Bay. Now I think the one of Volcano Bay is more aesthetically pleasing with the volcano, but this one has giant waves and it's really cool. Next we're heading on to the Gangplank Falls, which is a family raft ride. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you think Volcano Bay or Typhoon Lagoon has a better wave pool? All right, so now we have our giant tube lugging it up to the start of the slide. This thing is heavy. No. All right, Emmy, ready to get soaked? No, it's so Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, we're training. Oh, we're training. No.
So I know that was a family raft ride, but it was very slow. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, you get really soaked on that. We didn't really get too wet. Um, not too bad. I definitely thought it was gonna go faster. So not my favorite side here, um, but definitely a good side for the little ones. Um, but yeah, now we're heading to the individual raft ride, which uh, I think you get actually soaked on. You actually fly down, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yep, here we are. It's called Mayday Falls. Let's go have some fun. All right, so we just picked up our raft for Mayday Falls here, and now we're heading up the stairs. I have a feeling that Mayday Falls is gonna be a lot of fun. So there are two different singular raft rides right next to each other. The one we're going on, like I said, is Mayday Falls. Uh, so I will film myself on Mayday Falls. And then the other one is right here next to us. So Emily's gonna film herself on that one. Um, but they look like a lot of fun. And just based off the line, I have a feeling that Mayday Falls is the more popular side out of the two. Now we are heading on to Keel Hall Falls. Over here, Emily's grabbing the tubes. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I loved, loved Mayday Falls. It was so much fun. I can definitely, oh, I hate how the, the water kind of messed up the screen, but I can definitely tell why the Mayday Falls is more popular. Um, obviously I haven't been on the Keel Hall Falls, but the Mayday Falls was so much fun, twisting and turning. I almost fell off like two or three times. Um, Emily, how did you like Mayday Falls? Oh no, that's scary. But yeah, now we're heading on to Keel Hall Falls. Looks like it has a little indoor part under a cave. Um, but yeah, this one Emily will be filming. Not me, so uh, have fun with Emily. Oh boy. I always end up turning. We're not gonna turn today, y'all. Oh no, I'm turning. How do I end up going backwards? Like I'm going backwards right now. How does this happen to me? Okay, so Mayday Falls was definitely the better slide. Um, when we first started on the Keel Hall slide, or the Keel Hall Falls slide, uh, I was spinning like a teacup and ended up going backwards the whole time, which is pretty fun. But Mayday Falls is a lot better. Now it is time to check out the Lazy River. I'll tell you what, this is no Volcano Bay Lazy River. Even the lazy, like the lazy Lazy River Volcano Bay is faster than this. This thing is, uh, it puts the lazy in lazy, I'll tell you that. You wanna do the full lap, like you said? Uh, yeah, no, no full lap. <laughs> We're just gonna go a little I bit. I did warn you, I told you. You did, you did tell me it was it was very slow. You told me I was wrong. No, I just, it didn't look that slow, and, and it's that slow. You said, you're no fun. This is not what I call fun. Yeah, this is not what I call fun, people. Like, it is relaxing, though. Like, if I really wanted to do this and say relax, it is relaxing. But, oh, we're about to get, oh, we're about to get soaked. After the lazy, lazy river, it is now time to go into the giant wave pool. Whenever that whistle goes, that means the wave is coming. And those horns as well. Oh, oh my gosh. 
here it comes. Whoa! <laughs> I floated on that thing. <laughs> I like ran like a wave. Jump by like a wave, ready? All right, we were heading back up the trail to get some cool pictures on the Overlook Bridge, but I loved the wave pool here at Typhoon Lagoon. I forgot how much fun it was, and I love the giant wave. I honestly think I do like it more than Volcano Bay, just because you get that one giant wave that rushes the whole crowd in the pool. I love riding at the top of it, like body surfing. So much fun. Emily, how did you like the wave pool? Uh, I don't find the thrill of it as much as you do. See, I love the big giant like wave and body surfing. I like the Volcano Bay wave pool better. Really? I feel like it's just more chill. And like relaxing? Like I know. I like through there I can't even touch. Yeah, that's true. So I, I know. I, I enjoy Typhoon Lagoon just for the big wave. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like just one giant wave or a constant kind of rolling wave pool? Walking over this bridge is just so cool. I love it. Definitely, uh, you guys definitely, like I said earlier, have to come up here and check it out. You do get some really cool pictures up here, so do come up here. Um, but make sure you follow me on Instagram. We're gonna post these pictures. Um, and we always take some cool pictures in the park, so make sure if you guys don't. Follow me on Instagram. All right, go follow it. And then as well, when you're up here, you take a couple more stairs up to the top. You get this cool overlook of the Miss Tilly boat, uh, the shipwreck up at the top. Pretty cool. <laughs> they have a chant out here for the waves. That was pretty funny. I don't know if you guys heard that, but they were uh, chanting for the waves. They were like, we want waves, we want waves. Um, it was pretty cool, but giant waves out here at Typhoon Lagoon. So we were only here about two and a half hours and we basically did everything here in the park. The only site we didn't get to do was the Misadventures Falls, which was another family raft ride, but it was about a 15 to 20 minute wait. So we didn't feel like waiting on that and we wanted to do some other things here in Typhoon Lagoon. But guys, we did everything in under two and a half hours. Obviously besides Misadventure Falls, it was not a bad park day. Crowds were not bad. Um, it was a very enjoyable day here at Typhoon Lagoon. Well, everyone, that's going to be it from our day here at Typhoon Lagoon. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed the wave pool. Emily, what were your thoughts? I liked it, but I feel like Blizzard Beach and Volcano Bay are better than this one. Really? Yeah. See, I, I think I, well, I, I can almost agree because I think Typhoon Lagoon has the wave pool. Mm -hmm. Blizzard Beach has the slides. Volcano Bay has, has everything, everything. Everything. So I think, but for me, I think it would be Volcano Bay, Typhoon, and then Blizzard, mm -hmm. where yours is Volcano Bay, Blizzard, Typhoon. Like this is more mm -hmm. like a little kid water park. Yeah, okay, I can understand. Like there's that, not like yeah. very big slides. Slide. Okay. Or like Blizzard has like the big drop slide and this like yeah. the racing slides. Okay, I understand that. Let us know your thoughts on which one is your favorite, Typhoon or Blizzard, down below in the comments. But like I said, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and make sure to ring that bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Like I said, that's gonna be it from our day here at Typhoon Lagoon, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.